there's a lot of truth to it. And here's what I mean. A PCA curve is this. It doesn't go C, B, A. When you're at a B, you have to go to C before you go to an A. And what I mean is I'll give you a real life example. Me and my dad would grow up and we would play pool, right? In my basement, we had a pool table, and we would always play pool. So, I would be able to keep up with him because I can make those straight in easy shots, right? Like eight, or not the eight ball, but like a ball is here, I can make this shot, boom, I sink it, but he usually beats me, you know, maybe by a ball or two, right? Now, one day, my dad says, hey, Johnny, why don't you choose to put English on the ball? What's English mean? Spin, right? Just different spin. And the reason you put spin on the ball is because if I make this straight and easy shot and I put some spin on it, as that one goes in, the white ball spins to over here now. All of a sudden, I set my next shot up. So I start putting English on the ball. I start putting spin on the ball. What do you think starts happening? I start missing the straight and easy shot that I usually make. Right? You think, oh, you probably start beating your dad. No. I start losing by worse. I start getting a little embarrassed because now I'm not losing by a ball or two and making the easy shot I always make. Now I'm losing by three or four or five balls and I'm missing a lot of shots that I always make. So the dilemma is do I stay putting spin on the ball and maybe get better eventually, but I'm a little humiliated at first because I'm getting my bow up. Or do I go back to what's comfortable, right, and make those straight and easy shots? Obviously, when I present it like that, it's a very easy choice, right? But how many times in wrestling do we go back to comfort? Let's say somebody has a great single leg, right? Everybody thinking your best shot, right? You come into practice and pretend the wrestler has a great single leg. Coach says, hey, don't hit a single leg. Now, 90% of the takedowns you have in practice were off your single leg. Right? You know, for a lot of little guys, it's a cheaper move, like a cement mixer, or a pancake, or a cow catcher, whatever you guys call it. So all of a sudden, I take away your single leg, and I say, you have to hit anything but a single leg today. If you go to practice, now you're wrestling guys that you usually beat and kick their butt, and now the match is closer at practice. Maybe they get you a couple times in practice. What's the dilemma? Do I go back to comfort and hit my single leg, or, do I try to get better? Do I try to avoid the single leg that I'm really, really good at and get better? What, what one thing causes us to go back to B? If I'm at C, what causes us to go back to B? What do you think? No, wanting to win. Caring, this is gonna sound weird, caring too much about that at practice. I care so much about Oh my god, this guy I usually beat, uh, okay, I'm gonna go back to what I usually do, right? Instead of wanting to get better. So, so I want you guys to, when we go next session real hard, for an hour, I want you to kind of view wrestling as, I'm gonna give up 199 points by trying to score 200 points, right? The best advice I can ever tell you guys is not wrestling related, not, not technique related, it's don't be scared to give up points. Don't be scared, I said it right? Don't be scared you score up. Really important. Really, really important. It doesn't mean you let people score. It doesn't mean you don't give 100% effort. It doesn't mean you're not pissed off and you don't have a chip on your shoulder and you don't have an FU mentality. That's not what it means. What it means is I'm willing to risk. I'm willing to put it on the line. I'm willing to, you know, put it out there and maybe I give up points in the process. That's really important. Okay? Now, with that being said, I'm going to teach you stuff top bottom. All right? Uh, now, when a guy lines up, Anybody ever been in this part? A couple of you guys. All right, so a lot of stuff I teach you okay, so, like, so when I line up, a lot of people line up, knees down, chest on top. Right? They go like this. Bottom of the set. They go knees down like this, and then they go chest on top. Boom, like that. And what it does is it settles all the weight on my knees. So what I want you guys to do is the opposite order. I want you to go chest on top, and then knees down. Now, I don't want you to be like super obvious about it, like, oh, just on top, ugh, right? Like squash them, right? But real subtle, I want the weight to be up here, and then you settle back, bring any light on your knees, so I keep a lot of weight on his hands. The first thing he's gonna do is close his windows, right? He's gonna take his elbows, and bring, I want a lot of weight up there, so that he doesn't have a chance to have a lot of back pressure. So, it's just on top, right? Heavy up here, and I settle back on my knees. My hands, I one underneath, and one underneath. Now, my first move, it's always the same. It's called jam. All I do is I take my shit, I put it on the side, my right knee, I put his butt, this hand, against this window, and my 
right hand goes sideways. So this is this. Here, 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 you grab right here, here. At the same time, the right hand goes all the way to here. It goes all the way this way. Right? Now when I push, what's somebody to do? It goes back. So as he pushes back, I'm going to take him for a second. I'm going to take my hand, I keep going on. Grab his shoulder. And I have the thigh rock, keep going on the thigh rock. Now I'm going to pull his chest over his knees. So it's like Right? So his chest is over his knees. This next part is called the drape. A drape is my thigh right hand. He's going to go to the far knee just like this. Drape. Right here. At the same time, hand on the shoulder, karate chops the elbow pin. So it's this. Right here. And I call it the seating position. You guys watch this there. You guys watch the TV? Right? What do you watch? SpongeBob? Right? Let's watch the private hub. No. <laughs> no. Right? Jam, pull, drape. Right? Jam, pull, drape. Right? Jam, push back. Right? Pull, drape. It says, see how I'm still on my knees? It sounds stupid, but I'm not like squirting them like this or on my head, right? I'm on my knees. I don't pull them into my pocket. One more time. That's all I want you guys to do for now. Just give it the TV. Jam, he pushes back, pull, drink. It's almost like my hands are together. Jam, pull, drink. Just like that. Karate chop, far knee. Okay. And he pushes back, pull. Am I on my knees still? Yes. I didn't pull them into a crab rod. I'm on my knees. Great. Cool? That's all I want. Questions? Let's go. One, two. No.